What's up guys, it's John with NBC and today I'm gonna to be doing a really quick preview of what I'm gonna be sending to PSA, so stay tuned. All right guys, so like I just said, I only have a couple cards here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards that I'm gonna show you real quick. Um, we're just kind of squeezing this in with a submission that we already had going, but I, I wanna go ahead and show you anyway. So I have this really nice Joe Burrow orange disco prism. I think that this actually has a really good shot at a PSA 10. Got it for a hundred bucks uh, at a buy it now, newly listed. So I'm pretty excited about that. Got this cool Peyton Manning uh, Topps Chrome rookie card. Um, it was graded with this weird pro grading company and it was a, a mint plus 9.5. So the surface on this was really good. I think the only issue is that it is slightly thick on the right side. So as you can see, there's just a little bit more room over here than here. Um, I think it's at least a nine, possibly a 10. The back looks pretty good too, fairly centered, um, no scratches or anything. So it's a pretty cool card. Uh, figured I might as well crack it and get it graded with PSA because nobody wants a pro grading company card. So <laughs> moving on, we have a Jackson Holiday. So I'm in the mindset of buy low. Uh, obviously he came up to the majors and had like a 10 game stint where he had a hit. I think that was it. So he was struggling. So I went and bought some Bowman Chrome first refractors and I'm gonna be sending it. I thought that this was a pretty clean card. I think this one has a good shot at a 10 as well, which is why I'll be sending it. And, and like I said, I got these low. So shipped, I think I got this card for like 30 bucks. Um, and if he com comes back to the majors and like takes off, I think he's gonna be an all-star um, for sure. Give him some time, he's still really young. So then I also got the Sapphire version of the card, pretty clean. I think this one might end up being um, a nine though. And I didn't realize it at the time, but if you see this edge here, it looks crimped. Um, I can't not send it because we already put it in the order and the order is set. So it might come back worse than a nine, might come back an eight. We will see how hard they ding me for that. But the front was flawless on this card, which is what I saw when we first submitted it. So that's an interesting one. I don't know what this is gonna grade. All right, and then we have a Albert Pujols late edition Topps Chrome rookie card, which was a gym 10. Now, I don't think this is gonna gym out. It's either gonna be an eight or a nine if I had to guess. The reason is, uh, first off, the centering is not that bad. It is a little bit thick on the right, but there is a light scratch that runs from like his body all the way to the end of the card. Now, how hard are they gonna ding me for that? I mean, looking at it straight on, you can't really see it. And everything else was pretty clean. So like corners, you know, pretty crisp, pretty crisp, all the way around, super centered on the back. I'm hoping for a nine because I only paid $125 for this card. At a nine, it goes for like 250, something like that. So you double your money with a nine, which is why I purchased it um, as a gym 10. I was hoping it was gonna be, you know, hopefully gym mint condition with that scratch. I don't know what that puts me at, uh, but we'll see. All right, so I like this card a lot. I know this is not gonna get a 10 uh, because of the centering, but everything else on this card was pretty nice. So I'm hoping this gets a nine. Um, I could see it coming back an eight just because of the centering, but it was a two to four ratio, which I think you can still get a nine with. Um, left and right, it's it's spot on. And then the back, you know, it looked pretty good as well. Um, obviously a little bit OC, but they don't really ding you as hard for OC on the back. So I'm hoping for a nine on this card. We'll see what we get. I did get a PSA 10 of this finally in my last video, which is my PC card, not selling that. I'm super excited about that. And then the last card we have is a Victor Wimbanyama card, a red rookie revolution that we're gonna be sending. Um, it looked pretty clean to me, definitely either a nine or a 10. I'm hoping it comes back at 10. The front looked pretty flawless to me. The only issues we had were some weak bottom corners. Luckily the border down there is white, so you can't really tell unless you're really looking at it. 
Um, the top black corners looked good, which is a good thing. So I can see this one going either way. I'm hoping it comes back at 10. But that is the preview, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to get this back and see what we get. So thank you, guys, and I'll see you next time.